In the heart of Saskatoon, women and children escaping violence find a safe haven at Interval House. We are an emergency shelter for women and children fleeing domestic violence. Um, they can stay at our shelter for 30 days. While they're staying here, we provide counselling 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. The biggest highlight for us is the ability to have the children's program. And to me, that's, that's a really great program for prevention, for breaking the cycle of violence, for educating these kids on what a healthy relationship looks like. And they have groups for children ages 6 to 14 years old, um, where they're really focusing on age-appropriate information for children around domestic violence and what that looks like. And they also get to have the opportunity to go out and have some fun with the kids. So they get to kind of escape the reality for a little bit and, you know, go and have some fun. I think for everyone it's always funding. Um, we don't receive enough funding um, to run all of our programs and run just the operations of the house um, in the year. So we often rely on the community to support us. People who donate every year. Um, we have a gentleman who brings us fresh produce from his garden every year and, and consistently throughout the winter he stores it and brings it to us. So uh, we have great support that way but funding is always an issue um, and I think for us the biggest part right now is training for staff. There's a lot of new barriers for the clients that are coming through our doors. There's addictions, there's mental health, there's PTSD, all those kind of things too that these women are going through and we need to train our staff appropriately to be able to work with these women and, and get them on a healthy path. So um, I think the funding definitely is their biggest concern with that kind of thing. So I think of one particular lady um, that has been here a few times, and which is absolutely normal. And each time gets a little stronger, does a little more and um, self work and, and she's really come a long way. So over the years, now she's actually running her own business and, uh, and she's in a healthy relationship and she's doing really well for herself and her kids. And um, she's actually at a point where she's able to give back. So she's uh, donated to us. That I think speaks volumes to the work we do when, when they're able to give back and feel so proud about doing that. It takes a lot more than just a safe place to lay your head at night. So I think that's a misconception some people have in the community is that, oh, they just go there and then they're safe and then that's it. That's all you do. So, but there's so much more that goes into um, the programming that we run here for the clients and the, and the kids. The programming that we offer is vital to their healing and it's vital for them to be able to move on and to go on their journeys of a healthy life. Um, and that we need support with that.